Evening everybody, Animal Man here. Today we're going to talk about how to create high traction footwear for icy conditions or the snow, maybe shoveling your driveway or whatever. Usually I have a pair of Yak Tracks that I use. They're kind of a rubber thing that fits over the bottom of your shoe and grabs on and it's got coils of spring, metal spring on the bottom. And the rubber finally disintegrated. And rather than buy a new pair for like $40, I figured I could take any pair of boots, any pair of old shoes you want, or even existing shoes, and you can create traction footwear. All you need to get is one of these. Uh, I'm in the parking lot at Home Depot right now, actually. This is uh, number six half inch hex head sheet metal screws. And that's what you need to get. And use that with any of these screwdrivers that takes replaceable drill bits. Um, and let me show you how to do this. And this is a pack of 100, it was about five bucks. So, cool thing about these is they pop right in there and you're ready to go. So, this reminds me of when I used to be on, on the cross country team in high school, run track and field, and you get these shoes with these spikes that you could screw into holes. And all those spikes were in the areas that you need traction the most. They were starting at the ball of the foot and around the toes. None were on the heel or on the arch or on the blade, which is this part of the shoe. They were all kind of like in this area. So that's where we're going to focus on putting these. So all we do is line this up. I'll try to show it to you here. We're going to line it up. We're going to start the first one right here. And the good thing about these half inch ones is that uh, they're long enough to get good traction to bury them in your shoe, but they're not so long that they're going to poke through and and you're going to hurt yourself. And they're not that pointy to begin with anyway. So you don't have to worry about getting hurt by them. There we go. Alright, it's going in. I'm in a parking lot here, so you're going to hear cars going by. So there it is, one's in. And they can pop in and out as you need them. Which is cool too. All right, so that's it. We got seven of them in there, which is the right formation for traction here. And these hex heads are just awesome. They're great. You can use a screwdriver, put them in there, makes it easier for you. And then the angles on these hex heads are great for getting getting a grip on the ground. And if you want to take them out, you just it's about good. There it is. It's out. And the hole almost closes itself. You can see where the tip of my thumb is. It's a tiny bit of a hole. And if you want to ever put these back in there, it'll probably go in easier for you. You've got that little pallet hole now to start. And uh, it'd be great just to keep a little thing of these in the car for an emergency. Maybe your car breaks down, you got to walk across the snow to, uh, to get help. Gas station, grab a gas can, whatever. Or if you're at work and it ends up being very, very icy, you have to run errands on the way home or something like that. You don't want to slip. Just pop these in your shoes. Or keep an old pair of shoes in the car that has these already in it. That's a great idea too. You can put these in your, your snow boots if you wanted to, to get a better grip if you have to snow blow or something and it's icy outside. I mean, there's so many possibilities with it. Great, great idea. Hope you guys enjoy this.